Hey everyone, what's up? This is Simon from DevDactic and today I'm super excited because yesterday my new book Practical Ionic was released. You can get this book from devdectic.com slash practical ionic right now. There's still until tomorrow, so until Friday, 20% off all packages and we will uh, take a look at them today. But I don't want to make this video only like a, a huge marketing show because that's just not the idea of this vlog. I want to actually show you the process of creating a digital product and why it's actually possible to do this if you're just like a regular developer and perhaps want to um, generate a bit of side income perhaps you just have some knowledge in a specific field and think uh, maybe I could create something on this and the answer is actually yes definitely everyone can do this the process is basically completely free uh, it only takes uh, a bit or a lot of your time but all the tools I used are free I will show you all the tools I will show you the process I use the markdown scripts uh, any other scripts where I host the files basically everything so if you're interested in this check out this episode and of course I will share a bit more about the practical ionic book super excited <laughs> Okay, so let's go through all of this in a like chronological order because uh, the whole process started like in summer of last year when I did a little survey with my audience to ask about their problems and I collected all the feedback I got uh, about the struggles and challenges people had and in a lot of cases there were like real world scenarios, finding real world examples and this pattern really continued uh, many times within the responses. So I thought about creating a book on um, this topic of real world examples which started back then. Uh, during the winter I think I built the application and then I thought about how do I put this into a course and the best thing I actually found was writing the whole book using something called LaTeX. I think it's, it's spelled like this in English. Uh, let's make this a bit bigger for you. So um, the idea is that you write your whole uh, book with markdown files. As you can see, um, there are a lot of extensions for Visual Studio Code to use markdown, which makes it pretty easy to write this. Only the links to the images didn't really work, but maybe I could have fixed this somehow. It was really great uh, using markdown, uh, also for code snippets. As you can see, this kind of worked great. So I could structure everything uh, with these markdown files and use a template called Eisvogel. Actually, that's a German wall like Eisbird. <laughs> I'm not sure if it created, was created by someone in Germany. And then you use, uh, to compile this, um, a few scripts. And you can actually compile from Markdown to PDF, to HTML, to uh, EPUB, and to Mobi using a few different tools. And the most important is Pandoc. So as you can see, the compilation for a PDF um, contains a few elements like the engine, the uh, template used, using talk, uh, where to output, use, whatever. So this was a bit of trial and error and took me a few days in the beginning. But eventually, if you run this uh, based on the images folder and the markdown source, what you get is a finished PDF that looks like this. So this is now the practical Ionic ebook PDF version. The other versions aren't actually that cool because um, on my Kindle I don't have all the colors, um, looking at the snippets is kind of hard on a Kindle, but this is uh, how the PDF looks and I really love the view. And once you get the setup done it's really super easy um, to write this. So once again the tools completely free using Pandoc, using the template, um, using LaTeX, everything is free and you can do it yourself. The only thing I bought was actually the cover, uh, which I got from a designer I used also for the Ionic Academy page recently, so thanks again for this, and of course I will pay him. Um, now in terms of the book content, um, this is also generated automatically using the scripts you just saw. So once you put all your markdown files uh, with the right structure and using the right markdown templates, it will generate this nice overview. Uh, a quick word about the book. The book is basically about building a real-world application that looks a bit like the Trillo, um, or I think I call it Trillo, what's the name? Trello, it's a name uh, in real-world. 
Um, so it's a board where you can have different cards, you can collaborate with users, you get a nice sign up flow using different social providers and along the book we will build this whole application uh, going really into the details of these pages not just making the standard ion list the standard card and these elements but really diving into different elements uh, your reactive user uh, registration sign in with social providers app routing security using firebase as the backend with storage with authentication collections and then also, of course, using Firebase Cloud Functions for something like push notifications and also the Algolia service, which helps to have a real search engine for your documents. So it is really a complete application uh, with a lot of functionality. And at the end, I was almost at 300 pages. So really a huge ebook. And if you just check out something as an example, uh, the template I use looks really legit. I think this is really cool. Uh, we got the great structure. The images look great. Uh, is there a code snippet somewhere? Uh, let's quickly check it out. So here are code snippets highlighted very nicely. I really like this template. So if you want to check it out, uh, just look up for Ice Vogel or Ice Vogel, whatever you want to call it. Uh, as I said, German word, and then go ahead with these scripts. So. Um, you can actually use uh, the Calibri app to create an EPUB as well uh, for HTML. You can completely use Pandoc um, for PDF, I said this. And finally, for the Mobi version, there's something called a Kindle Gen. Um, so there's from Amazon uh, executable called Kindle Gen, which actually creates from your EPUB a Mobi version, and then you're completely done. So. Everyone who purchases Practical Ionic gets a PDF, an EPUB and a Mobi file of the book so you can read it wherever you want to. Now, that was like the initial steps and the process of writing the book. For everything inside uh, the book project, I just used Git because whenever a chapter was finished, I just fixed it, I committed it and everything was done. This was really so much easier than using Google Docs in the past and I really enjoyed the process of writing the book. Same for the application, I once built it up front so I can then write about it, but while writing about it I actually improved a lot of elements so I came up with a work in progress uh, uh, repository as well. And whenever I finish the chapter I take the code because for each chapter I want to supply the code snippet so people can pick up even if they're lost somewhere in a chapter. So simply grab from chapter 13 or whatever chapter the code and get started with that code with the next chapter so you can definitely go through the whole book that's the idea at some point you might have finished your book this can take days weeks a month depending on how big you want to make your project and then you need to focus on the different aspect which is marketing um, so I'm kind of blessed because I got this huge YouTube channel, I got a huge email list and a social following where I can just blow out these emails or tweets and I'm sure I will reach a massive audience. If you don't have this yet, it might be a bit uh, more challenging, so I definitely recommend if you want to get into this direction to start your personal website, blog, anything like this where uh, you have just your own space. But um, selling the book is actually a lot easier than you might think. So this is um, the Practical Ionic page. Um, this was still the preview page. Um, so the real page is not yet released, but it will look basically the same, but now with packages. Um, so this is hosted on WordPress. I just uh, created this. I'm not really a designer, so the pages I create are not perfect. Um, but I'm fine so far and you don't have to go for 100% perfect design every time. That's completely fine. What I did is I bundled this book actually in different packages. So there are three different packages. Uh, essential with just the book, advanced with some uh, additional things like two more guides and a big template uh, Ionic application. And the ultimate package with uh, even more guides, a big discount on the kick of Ionic tool that I told you about, a free App Store kit exports, also my tool. Packaging this with some bonus material worked for me pretty great in the past. Um, actually, I made, I think I made the most uh, when I sold my last book about three, four years ago with the highest package. So um, that's actually kind of interesting. Now, in terms of actually selling the book, I used in the past Gumroad and I used Gumroad once again. 
The integration is kind of nice with WordPress, but I think you can have this with other frameworks or just JavaScript or anything like this as well. Um, they integrate nice. Once I click this, um, actually it opens up, which I didn't really like because I wanted to immediately add it to the cart, but that didn't work out with the coupon code. But I could now add it to the cart and I could check out the book and I'm done. I can just host everything on Gumroad. I can create the products here. Um, I can add all the files that need to be included. So I really enjoyed using Gumroad. It will also handle my taxes, which makes it a bit easier. Uh, so I don't need to calculate these things. Now, finally, just a quick word on why I actually self publish my books. I did this in the past and for me right now, it was a no brainer as well because I got this huge audience and I know uh, about the people who might be interested in the book and I know how to reach them. In the beginning, I was actually offered like five years ago when I started blocking um, different book deals from like Peck Publishing or companies like these. And I really I felt humbled by these offers and thought about it. But the more I read about um, accepting a book deal, uh, the more I got the idea that it's actually more about the fame of having this book, but not really about the money you earn from it, because you will actually earn a lot less uh, and the process can be kind of stressful and I don't want to have this stressful process. On the other hand, uh, having a publisher, they will review your books, they will give you new ideas, they will tell you how to restructure things. Um, they will definitely improve the quality of your book, but it will definitely be a lot more stressful. It will take you a lot of time and the outcome in terms of money will be less. So for me, I'm completely fine with this. I review my own book. Um, I know how to sell it. I know that I will earn basically everything besides the cut that Gumroad takes and I'm completely happy with this process. So all the tools I've shown you from uh, using Latte, using uh, a GitHub repository, uh, hosting your page, using Gumroad, all of this is basically completely free. Perhaps your domain might uh, cost you a few dollars, but writing an ebook these days is easy um, everyone can do it. You don't need any upfront expenses and it's a great way to test waters to see if this is for you. Um, it can grow your audience if you're interested in, in this. It can grow your authority on a different topic. Or if you're good at it, you might actually generate a nice side income from your very own book project. And I hope this will help you to perhaps create your own book in the future. All right, that's it for today for creating a digital product like an ebook, like a Mobi, like a PDF, uh, anything like this. I hope you enjoyed this kind of behind the scenes of the Practical Ionic book, which you can get at devdectic.com Practical Ionic. And of course, I hope this inspired you to maybe take another look at this. Think about if you want to come up with your own digital product. So if you're not into videos or creating digital courses, a book is actually a great way, even if you just want to get started. Um, you can create a high quality book like this in perhaps like a few days or weeks if you have a small topic, bundle it for your email list and start your blog with a great asset like this. Or if you're already more advanced, take things a step further, uh, create your outline, follow the process and bring out your own ebook. If you want to uh, get the book, of course, check out the packages on the page. Or if you just want to support this channel, which basically brings in no ad revenue at all. It's really, uh, it's actually a pity with 30k subs, but then you can also get the book. I hope you have a great week. Um, I hope this might give you an idea of why it's actually so easy these days to get started. And perhaps this will inspire you to take action on your own. Have a great week, enjoy the book, uh, launch discount until Friday, so tomorrow, today, or if you watch it in the future, it's already over, but I hope you can still grab it. So check it out, thanks for supporting me, and I will catch you next week, like always, so happy coding, Simon.